Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the Alpha Pack Shop. I'm back on the 1000 now XMR shorty here. I got the clutch back out. Uh, in the last vid, I had mentioned I uh, needed to figure out what, what I was going to do with the clutching. So I went ahead and called EPI. Uh, got some bushings for these clutch weights. Because uh, these were what was in there. They are destroyed. I mean, I just pushed that out. So that's what they look like. They were done, son. So we got to put those in these weights. We got 34s and 36s. I already took these other weights out, so I'm just ready to put these in. Uh, let me just show you what this one. This is a stock weight right here to 587 compared to a 36 or a 34. Uh, they are shaped a little different, and I'm sure they're different. They're definitely a different weight, so... We're gonna put the, uh, and the bushings are different too. These are like steel inserts. These will probably never wear out. These on the other hand, wore out and turned into dust, literally. And they're pretty proud of these suckers, guys. They want two, they're like 60, 70 bucks somewhere in there for a six pack of these. I was, I was in awe, but whatever. They must be made out of some really special material that they better be. Shoot. You got a one-year warranty. Better not break within a year or I'm getting new ones. Anyway, we got the clutch bolt sitting over here. I'm going to clean these up again. Get the uh, Loctite off these bolts. Put those bushings in these here weights. And then I'll go ahead and reinstall them. And uh, we'll get this put back on the machine. Torque it back down to 89 foot-pounds. And put this new belt back on there. And we should be golden guys. We should be good to go So I'll clean up the clutches uh, They I just left all this open. It's been outside in the weather. So we got a little bit of whatever this white stuff is here here Corrosion or something. I don't know. I'll clean it all up. I do see some rubber down up in there Let me see that this helps me see it actually I might take me a rag with some solvent, clean all that up. I had broke the belt in, so that's just probably the break in. Um, but what I'll do is I'll put all this back in and re break the belt in, and then it should be good to go. Way better than it was before with that other other clutch. It just it didn't it wasn't right. It just really wasn't right. I could tell off bat, and it was squeeching and squealing on takeoff. So it was not happy at all. But anyway, guys, we're going to do that, and then we'll go test it out and see what happens. All right, I'll be right back. And I'm back. And I went ahead and cross-hatched this back down here and got it all smoothed back out, and I cleaned up all the rubber out of the secondary and whatnot. And then over here, I installed the weights with the new bushings. Everything's good, looking gravy. I went ahead and cross hatched this one as well. Nope, got a fingerprint on there. I better use some brake clean on it. But there she be. So I'm going to put that EPI white spring in there and uh, put her on the machine and we'll see what she does in just a second. Because here it goes. All right, there she be. Installed, ready to rock. Let's go ahead and start it up. Let me show you what's up. back on those uh bushings and those weights made a big difference uh that's apparently what was wrong i mean they were just a little pile of dust so tomorrow i'm gonna go out and go drive it around break the belt in and it should be good as new and ready to go we got the 31s 
BKTs on it as of right now. Everything should be good. Axles, demon axles, the lift. I mean, you name it. So it's ready to rock. I haven't taken it on a lift. I mean, on a ride, excuse me, since I did all the upgrades. So we'll see what she does hopefully soon if I can get out of this shop at some point. But anyway, well, look, guys, if y'all would hit that like and subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see y'all in the next one. Y'all take it easy. Whoosh.